are from the Americans themselves, right? The, the, some of the most successful are from the Americans themselves. Because SubhanAllah, once they embrace this faith, I mean, SubhanAllah, traveling with uh, you know, someone like Shaykh Yusuf Asis a lot and knowing him personally, it's like SubhanAllah, it, may Allah reward him, I will ask all of, every one of you to make dua for him. But this man, SubhanAllah, just the way how I see him, just kill himself over time. Every single you know, second, I'm not going to say minute, se- literally, I mean second, he's just killing himself. Well, he puts me into shame when I'm around him. Well, like, subhanAllah, this man is not, he was not even born Muslim. He became Muslim when he was 47 years old. And he has brought over 30,000 people to Islam. And just if you see him, he would just sometimes, like in the studio, we're doing, um, this year is called uh, Ramadan um, Boosters. And Wallahi would just collapse after the, we finished, you know, shooting and everything. Not shooting guns, okay? We're not shooting <laughs> Shooting, okay? Shooting. You know, like in the studio, when you shoot, take. He would just collapse on the floor. Well, lying would just collapse, just like that. And, yeah, wake him up, come on, get up, and then he would get up. Uh, you know, and, then, and so on. He just doesn't go to sleep. Uh, it's amazing. He may disagree with him, or he may agree with him, but this is not the point. The point is, subhanAllah, it, it just, he found a lot of the American successful dua. I mean, uh, they, they had this kind of background. They, they came from, you know, subhanAllah. They, uh, Christian American background, and uh, there were people that Allah SWT told us in the Quran, as I mentioned to you earlier, so you're gonna find a lot of those who will not sell the verses of Allah SWT for a cheap price. Whenever they see it, the truth, they will accept it. But then, Wallah, we have to go outside and we have to approach it, we have to reach out to them. Because otherwise we'll be responsible. Allah will ask us on the day of judgment, why did you come to, 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 to the US? And we have to be very honest with, with ourselves. As Umar al-Khattab said, حَسِبُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ قَبْلَ أَنْفُسَكُمْ We shall be asked, okay? And as, uh, according to his um, uh, saying or narration, he says here that hold yourself, your, yourselves accountable or, or question yourselves before you get questioned. And weigh your deeds before they get weighed to you, okay, or for you. So we have to really weigh our deeds, we have to question ourselves. Why have we come to this country? Is it to accomplish the American dream? Or we came for doubt? Apparently, most of us came to accomplish the American dream. I don't have to balance with ourselves. However, it's never too late to get Dawa also. I mean, and, and, and you know, when I see how easy Dawa is, it's just these little tools that you have to gain. I'm telling you, Wallahi, brothers and sisters, you know, and I remember I recall from when I was studying Sharia at the time, you know, a brother came and he asked our uh, Shaykh, and he told him that, uh, you know, I know that was an obligation. How can I do that? I know I didn't come uh, for Dawah to this country, I know I came for work, for school, to save money. I, I, I was on, he was honest with the teacher and everything. So he told him, how can I, how can I do that? Because that was an obligation. And without doing da'wah, I should not be living in this country. And who told him, take da'wah seriously. Meaning, have something continuous, constant going on. Like how, how all of us, you know, have jobs. I'm not saying to do da'wah 40 hours uh, a week, like how we work 40 hours for this dunya. Of course, as Muslims, we should work for the dunya. I mean, we should work so that we can, you know, may support ourselves and our families and strengthen Islam too. This is inshallah with a good intention, your work and accomplishing that American dream. Inshallah, you can have hasanat if you do it for Allah's sake. I'm accomplishing the American dream so that I can benefit the ummah. Through the, your intention, you can change that. But, but here, what the Sheikh told him, he told him if you even dedicate a few hours a week, but then continuously, something that is regular, you know, something on a regular basis, every single week, two, three hours, two, three hours, two, three hours. Well, my brothers, uh, you know, and sisters, I, you know, I've been happy like, giving da'wah to, uh, to church leaders, uh, you know, and um, I came across few of them that really stuns me. I mean, they, they, they really stun me to death. I mean, the, the, the amount of dedication that they have for their bottle, for their falsehood, you know, like this Jehovah's Witness elder, he's actually the elder of the church. They don't have the priest or the minister system, but they have uh, the elder system. So they bring the Bible and whoever, and they study it together, they have Bible study, and whoever knows, you know, the, the most, he will basically give the prayers and do these things. So I've been in touch with them for like now almost, um, yeah, over six months, almost close to eight or nine. So anyway, the, um, he was, he was like telling me that he would give 40 hours of preaching every week for free. But, but he, he does it from, because he, he believes in it. 
from the goodness of his heart. Nobody's paying him. The church is not even paying him. You know, he is doing this 40, 40 hours a week. And I know this man, you know, he has a full-time job and everything. He has a family and like every single, like, like any American. He, he's, he's, he's actually a white American who lives in, in our town. And he's, he's very, very involved in so many other activities too. Uh, but then he would make sure that he would give 40 hours a week to, to preach his falsehood. And he would tell me, he would tell me, you know what? Christians, by the way, if, if those of you, if you may think that Jehovah's Witnesses are okay. I mean, no. Christians, they hate Jehovah's Witnesses maybe more than Muslims. Because <laughs> they, yeah, I'll tell you, they really hate them. And he'd tell me that people would spit on his face, people would uh, slam the door in his face, people would insult him, curse him now, and everything. And he does it. You know, Alhamdulillah, I've been working on him, giving him da'wah, Alhamdulillah, he's, he's, I mean, Alhamdulillah, the more we talk, the more, and he's been coming to my house, Alhamdulillah, and on a regular basis. Alhamdulillah, he's getting close, but it takes time for those guys. I mean, it takes some time. But Alhamdulillah, I mean, he's, mashallah, getting closer every time to Islam, especially, I, I, you know, I, I present him the evidence of Islam, the, you know, the scientific facts, just as in, in, in the Quran, you know, and how Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam talked uh, about Jesus and how the, the, the Quran defended uh, Mary alayhi I just bring all of these things, especially I focus so much on the evidence because initially the way how I started contact with him and also with another, um, uh, actually he's a youth minister, also he's, uh, he lives next door to me, also been giving Dao as well. We, when it comes to Christians, if you talk about faith, you're not gonna win, they will win. Really, if you talk about blind faith, they know how to Manipulate you. They, they really study, they go to school for that. The, the theology that they teach them in the seminary, they know how to manipulate people because they cannot really prove Christianity. So they place so much on emotions. So I, I kind of I stay focused about the evidence. I want an, a proof. I want an evidence. Prove to me that your religion is the truth and I'll follow it. If you can prove it to me, I'll, I'll follow it. But then you'd have to promise the same too. You know, if I can prove to you that it's not the truth, then you're going to have to follow it. So, of course, it's a process, but Alhamdulillah, once you bring one of those, like, you know, it's a different story. It's like bringing thousands of them to Islam, because really, it, it becomes so powerful. Even just using the name of the former, uh, you know, preacher or former priest, or, or you know, and especially with the Christian background that they bring with them to Islam, could be very, very powerful. Brothers and sisters, we have to do da'wah. And da'wah is not just to the outside, you know, to, I mean, to, you know, to the novices, but we have to start by giving da'wah. Our children. This is why, alhamdulillah, the activity, you know, that we have started, and subhanAllah, you know, I always make dua uh, <laughs> to, to Sheikh Ahmed and to the masjid for, because we started this whole thing in here. If you remember, we met for the first time in January, right? Uh, anybody here from January, raise their hand. I was just curious, you know, mashallah, a lot of you were here. At that time, it was, a, it was like a dream, right? It was like an idea, right? And it's something that I, I personally had for like years. I, I've always wanted to accomplish and wanted to start like da'wah effort, so, some kind of really intense da'wah work in this country. But then as, as a full-time imam, I was really overwhelmed. Uh, all of you know how busy Tempe is, you know, it needs like five imams and not one. So, uh, so alhamdulillah, through Allah's blessing, uh, alhamdulillah, and help and tawfiq, I was able through the help of, of mashallah, this salah bin Allah, the help of the son of Sheikh Ahmad, mashallah, may Allah bless him. Ahmed, you know, uh, Kamara, mashallah, he's been helping us tremendously. Even he was, he just came back from China. Yeah, Allah bless him. He left here shortly after we started and then he left to China, mashallah. Even recruited people in China. We have actually a team in China that have been helping us with the website and all these work, mashallah. Mustafa, TJ, you know, a former uh, Guantanamo prison guard, mashallah. He's been very, very supportive and been very active in marketing for us. And inshallah, many of you here, like, without mentioning names, uh, you know, but. But alhamdulillah, it's a success. Mashallah, in the past um, couple of weeks, we have, mashallah, three shahadas, alhamdulillah, and we have books, inshallah, there's a fourth shahadah, and we have books, inshallah, there's a fourth shahadah, inshallah, uh, coming up very soon, inshallah. Um, and this is, alhamdulillah, during the, we would have those online, free, free online training class, free online Dawah training class. A lot of you on our mailing list also, now our mailing list, have been receiving the news. So alhamdulillah, it's uh, what we do, firstly, first, we pick the name.